Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome to a analysis video on the first official teaser image for Five Nights at Freddy's 9. This teaser was released yesterday during the five-year anniversary of FNAF, celebrating five years at Freddy's, and I did actually react to it in my stream. If you missed that, there will be an iCard uh, up this way, right up there. You can go see the stream. I believe it's when we're playing FNAF World when we first encounter the um, the image, and then we also look at the image over on FNAF World, which, by the way, we are going to be looking at both. But we do have a lot of stuff to go over. We have not only those two images, we have Scott has updated his mega thread over on Steam, and we have a little bit of information on help wanted some new features that may or may not be coming in the future. So let's not waste any more time. We're going to start off with the teaser that is currently on scottgames.com. And this is the teaser. I'm sure that all of you have already seen this already, but I'm going to give my insight on what I think this could be. And yeah, I know that many other people have done analysis videos on this. So I'm just going to go out and say this is obviously in a mall. We have the laser tag. Um, section of them all over on the left hand side we have freddy fazbear's pizzeria on the right we have an arcade on the second floor um front view and then we also have on the bottom floor front view we have a cinema obviously we have four characters that are performing some sort of concert some sort of show uh in the main huge open section middle center of the mall you can see that they have rafters above them hanging down we've got green purple um headlights showing uh <laughs> lighting them up i should say we also have what looks like palm tree leaves over on some pillars in the middle those are probably just decorations but there are two floors to this mall so this isn't just your ordinary shopping mall with like a walmart and then you got a starbucks across the street this is a fully fledged like freaking mall of america type crap we got going on where it's gonna have like a water slide and a roller coaster that would be cool if this mall does have that but we can't see that what's interesting is that the characters that are performing in the center of the mall are not in the pizzeria um i'm gonna get to who these character who i think these characters are in just a moment but that piece of information is very very important the fact that these characters are not actually inside the restaurant over to the right they are instead just performing out in the middle of the mall and they have a huge crowd of what looks to be teenagers to young adults um, because they do look fairly tall compared to um, the rest of the mall like other locations the doorways they seem like fairly tall people so that's why I'm guessing they're teenagers young adults adults there are probably a few kids in there but it is kind of difficult to see them because they are partially being blocked by the characters. Now I'm gonna go ahead and point out the obvious, the 2020 release date is at the very bottom of the screen in the middle, it says 2020. So this game, whatever it may be, is going to be released in the year 2020, which if you think about it, is actually not really that close. What, it's only August, we still have September, October, November, December, so that's at least four months. And I highly doubt that it'll come out in January, so I'm going to say at the very least, we're looking at maybe a five to six month gap between now and the release of this game. So what do I think this is? It's kind of difficult to say, because I probably am doing this in the wrong order. Actually, you know what? I'm definitely doing this in the wrong order, because I'm currently looking at all of the re release dates for all of the future projects for FNAF that Scott has put up in the Steam post, and I can say for certain certainty that this is not the augmented reality game this is not five nights at freddy's into madness this is definitely not a console port and i it definitely is not a triple a game so what it is exactly it's kind of difficult to say i did this in a really bad order yeah looking back on it i really should have done the steam post first before the teaser because i actually have to show you guys this this is in the post that Scott made on his Steam post, and it reads, The second game from Steel Wool is expected to be released on 20, or in 2020. And that just so happens to be the same release date for this game. And like I said, I don't think it is going to be 
the augmented reality game, it can't be the AAA game, the console ports, and I don't think this is Into Madness because, as we find out later in the video, that is being um, worked on by Steelwall and it has a release date for 2021, maybe, Scott says in the post. So, this teaser on scottgames.com could be the second game being worked on by Steelwall Studios, but again, that is just speculation. That is the only game that has a release date of 2020 besides the console ports. So that is currently my guess as to what this teaser represents. This teaser is very, 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 very difficult to understand because it is super unique. This is the first time we have ever seen the animatronics outside of their restaurant. This is the first time we've ever seen a mall. This is the first time we've ever seen them in a mall. This is the first time we've ever seen these characters, some of them at least. Um, I do know that some people are speculating that the animatronic on the far left is either Bonnie or Chica. I personally think it's Chica, um, the, the animatronic next to them, to the right of that character. Some people are saying it's Fredbear. I honestly think it's Freddy. People are pointing out that the top hat looks purplish, but that is obviously just because there's a purple spotlight shining the hat to give it that purple appearance, so I do think that that's Freddy. The character to the right of Freddy, I'm not entirely sure who that is. Some people are saying it's Foxy. I personally do not think so. It definitely, definitely does not look like Foxy. I don't remember Foxy having that exaggerated of a tail. Foxy's head just looks different overall. It is definitely more smooth and flat than the original Foxy and the one that we're used to. The snout looks different, the teeth looks different, and it just, to me, personally, does not look like Foxy. But the character that I find the most interesting is the one on the far right. This character, some people are saying it's Chica with long hair, and I can see what they're going for, but that honestly would just come out of nowhere. Never, 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 never in the history of FNAF for, the, for five years have we ever seen Chica with hair. And I feel like it would just kind of come out of nowhere, basically. So I don't think this is Chica. I honestly do think this is a new character. I think the two characters on the far right are new. Then again, some people are saying it's Foxy and Chica and that the character on the far left is Bonnie. But I personally don't think so because Bonnie's head, or bo quote-unquote Bonnie's head in this teaser, is a lot r rounder than it normally is. Bonnie and Freddy are very, very, very similar appearance-wise. So if that was Bonnie, um, they would look a lot um, similar to how Freddy looks in this image. Some people are also pointing out that on the far right character, it kind of looks like they're wearing a skirt, and then some people are saying that's just the guitar. I honestly, at first, thought it was a skirt, but looking at it closer, it does kind of look like the um, the bottom of the guitar, where the strings end at the very bottom. But, again, this is all just speculation. This is a very confusing and unique teaser, and all we can basically do is just speculate and wait until we get more information about it. But from now on, this is my current understanding of the teaser. We have two returning characters, Chica and Freddy, and we have two new ones, maybe some sort of foxy character, and then one that I entirely don't know who that could be, and this is for either a um, the second game being worked on by Steel Wool, or, and I know this may sound like it's coming out of nowhere, this could be a game based on the book series, okay? And that sounds confusing, but let me, let me, all right, sit down, let me talk to you for a moment. <laughs> in the books, the Freddy Fazbear's location is in the middle of a mall. That's really all my evidence. <laughs> yeah, in the books, in the silverized twisted ones in the fourth closet, the Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria uh, location that, are, that is set in the books is in Hurricane, Utah, that is set in a shopping center. So this could be a game based on the books, but then again, I feel like if this was the case, Scott would mention at least some sort of hint towards it, because right now I don't think he has any plans to make game versions of the books, but again, that is just speculation. So again, my current understanding of this teaser, and we've been on this teaser for a long time, and we still have loads to talk about, so sorry if this video is a bit long, I just want to get my thoughts out there. I think we are having a little bit 
of new characters and a little bit of returning ones in new fashions. And this is either a game based on the books or the second game being made by Steelwall, which, by the way, does not have to be a VR game. The second game by Steelwall does not have to be virtual reality. It could just be made in Unreal Engine because I believe that is the engine they used for Help Wanted. But anyways, we've talked about this teaser long enough. Let's move over to actually let's start let's look at the post because I kind of screwed myself over by talking about this teaser before the post so let's take a quick look at the post post starts off with upcoming projects mega thread updated August 8th 2019 it goes on to talk about the five nights at Freddy's movie which uh, Scott says that progress is being made stay tuned estimated time of release 2021 so according to that date we are definitely, definitely, definitely 100% getting a getting a movie poster or a trailer for the movie next year in 2020, which is just crazy to think about. We first learned about the movie in 2015, and now, four years later, we are finally, finally, finally going to be getting either a poster or a trailer next year, which I guess would be five years after it was first announced, which is a long time, but honestly, Scott never never has well FNAF would may be an exception but he is never really something he is not proud of he's constantly saying that he never wants to do that and you know FNAF World was a bit of a screw up on his part but honestly I really like it I know that a lot of you guys like FNAF World as well so this this movie is going to be good trust me guys the Five Nights at Freddy's movie is going to be good Scott seems very excited about it, saying, you know, stay tuned, exclamation point. So he seems very excited, and honestly, that just makes me super happy. So I'm really excited for that. 2021, we get the movie. Most likely, and by most likely, I'm going to say like 80%. I'm going to say that 80%, I think, will get a trailer or some sort of movie poster in 2020. Moving on to game projects, obviously Five Nights at Freddy's Virtual Reality Help Wanted is 100% complete. It is done. You can order it now on the Oculus app. You can get it on the PlayStation Store and you can get it on Steam for $30 and you can enjoy it to your heart's content. It is a fantastic game. I highly recommend it. This really wasn't supposed to be a plug, but go get the game. Honestly, it's awesome. The Five Nights at Freddy's augmented reality game is 75% complete. Scott saying the team at Looking Glass is doing an amazing job. The graphics look fantastic. I'm looking forward to seeing how the finished product comes together. Estimated time of release, October 2019. Now we have had zero, zero, excuse me, zero zip, zip, zip information on the augmented reality game. And apparently... We're two months away from its release, so that is very, very, very exciting to hear. Honestly, my phone cannot wait to have Freddy, I can't wait to have Freddy virtually be put into my room, if that's how it's going to work, but honestly, again, Scott seems super enthusiastic about it, saying that the graphics look fantastic, and he's looking forward to seeing how the finished product is going to come together, so again, I'm super, super excited for these. All the projects that I'm about to mention and have mentioned Scott seems legitimately super excited about them, so that really just makes me unbelievably happy. And finally, the moment you've all been waiting for. Five Nights at Freddy's Into Madness is currently on hold. What? Come on, Scott. Don't worry, he has a perfect, um, perfect reason why. Saying, this game was originally going to be a project that I worked on myself, but now it looks like it might be a future project for Steel Wool 2021 maybe right now however i'm working on 58 don't worry we're gonna get to that hold your horses that's coming up next but let's finish the post so obviously we first learned about fnaf into madness back in november of 2018 god that's such a long time ago and we have had no information about it up until yesterday technically unfortunately i wasn't able to make the video last night because i was just drained from the five hour live stream that we did for the anniversary, which by the way, will be linked below if you missed that. We had a great time, honestly, it was fantastic and I loved you guys' support. It was just incredible. Not only did we set a new record for the longest stream on the channel with, I wanna say five hours and like 15 minutes, but we also had the most viewers for 
a live stream on the channel. Our peak viewership was 18, which doesn't sound like a lot, but previously the record was 10, so we nearly doubled the record for having, you know, the most amount of viewers at once, which is just insane. Thank you guys so much. Anyways, back back to Into Madness. So obviously Steel Wool are currently working on um, some sort of second game that, again, we're going to get to later. But apparently they're also going to be taking up Into Madness, which is very, very interesting to hear. I don't really feel like it's going to be a VR game. If Scott was planning on working on it by himself, Scott clearly does not know how to do VR games. No insult, Scott. <laughs> um, that's why he hired Steel Wool to make Help Wanted. So if it was going to be... If Scott was going to make Into Madness entirely by himself, it was definitely going to be just, you know, click team fusion game, very simple, very, um, you know, original to FNAF, going back to the original engine and, you know, being made by Scott himself entirely. But now that Steel Wool have picked up the project, I don't think they want to change it that much from Scott's original idea, nor do I think Scott would want them to change it that much. That's why I think... Um, when it comes out in 2021, maybe, like Scott said, it's going to be not a VR game, which is fine. Uh, Steel Wool can do that. Um, again, I think I said this when I was talking about them making a second game. They can do games that are non-FNAF VR, um, or just non-VR. Obviously, Into Madness is going to be FNAF, but they can do that. So that is going to be very interesting to see how that turns out, 2021, maybe. Don't forget, the console ports, they've already started rolling out on iOS. Five Minutes at Freddy's 1 got the update a few days ago, and now they are 70% complete. Scott saying, I'm working closely with the people at Click Team to create new, improved HD ports of all of the original games. They will be released on Android, iOS, Switch, Xbox, and PlayStation. Estimated time of release, be looking for most of these before the end of 2020. So, obviously, like I just said, they have started rolling out the ports. If you have Five Nights at Freddy's 1 on your iOS device, you can go and update it right now. Or, if you don't have it yet on your iOS, then you can buy it just for $3, I believe it is, um, on the Apple Store. So, you can get it on your phone. Take FNAF anywhere you want on the, fl on, the <laughs> on the phone. Yeah, it's going to be on the phone. It's on the iOS. In the car, on a plane, on a train, in a boat. Wherever, if you're being held hostage, just ask for your phone. I'm sure they're going to let you play FNAF in the meantime, <laughs> before you eventually die. But yeah, expect all the ports that are coming to iOS, Switch, uh, Xbox, PlayStation, and Android. Expect all of those to be out by the end of 2020. Um, the games that are going to be ported are FNAF 1, 2, 3, 4, Sister Location, Pizza Sim, and Ultimate Custom Night. So again, by the end of 2020, they'll all be released on the said platforms. The AAA game is something that is very, very interesting to hear. It's 0% complete, and this is what Scott has to say. A deal has been signed with Universal to create a AAA multiplayer game. They've had a few setbacks getting started, but hopefully they will get it worked out soon. There were some really cool ideas for it. Estimated time of arrival, 2021. Now, this kind of concerns me a bit, I'm not gonna lie, because I believe some people looked up Universal's um, games that they've made previously, and apparently have a, they have a bad rep for making games, so I'm honestly super nervous about this, but like I said about um, like the movie, Scott would never release something that he's not proud of. He loves this community to bits, and he would never ever do that, so... I'm really, really hoping that Scott is, like, the top guy working on the game, you know, watching over everything, making sure everything's exactly how he, want, how he wants it to be, because, again, Scott would not release a game that he is not proud of and that he thinks the community will not like, so hopefully he's going to be paying very close attention to the employees at Universal making the game, and something that is interesting is that it's called, you know, the AAA multiplayer game. So we are going to be getting a multiplayer game. Apparently, it's not going to be Help Wanted like we thought with Flashlight Freeze, but it's going to be the AAA game. So yeah, I do have a little bit of worries for the AAA game, but again, hopefully Scott's going to be looking after it super, super closely. The new book series is done in awaiting publication. 
Some of these are pretty disturbing. The publication date is going to be spring 2020. We know that some books are going to be released this December, but it seems like all the books will be out by uh, spring 2020. So that is very exciting to hear, and I honestly cannot wait to buy more books and read them all and share my glorious knowledge of them with all of you. And then we get to the disturbing part of the post. Scott just has this on its own. Question mark, question mark, question mark, to be announced. Now, right under that, it does say this, the second game from Seal Wool, estimated time of arrival 2020. The thing is, I don't know if those are supposed to be put together. I don't know if the question mark, question mark, question mark is separate from the game being made by Steel Wool, or if it's the same game. So that is very confusing, because if the question mark, question mark, question mark to be announced is the second game um, being made by Steel Wool, I think the teaser on ScottGames.com is that game. I honestly do think that. But if it is separate, then really the question mark, question mark, question mark could be the teaser on ScottGames.com, but the fact that there's no colon connecting the two makes me a little bit suspicious, but then again, you know, it's Scott. You know, he made a mistake. If it was, if there was supposed to be a colon there, you know, he made a mistake. We all make mistakes, that's perfectly fine. I'm just a little bit confused about if these two are connected or if they're completely different. Um, if you guys know if they are connected, please let me know in the comments below. And just let me know if you guys are excited for all, these, for all this new information. I definitely was expecting some sort of teaser or just some sort of information yesterday. I was not expecting this much, however, so this is why this video is probably super long. Speaking of super long videos, let's not waste any more time and let's take a look at um, the FNAF World teaser, because it's very interesting, trust me. FNAF World has been silent for, I believe, two or three years. It's always just had the image of baby's eyes being shut for, again, like two or three years, but it has finally come back to life with this image. A 58. What could it mean? I don't freaking know. Why are you looking at me? Now, I do think um, everyone, including me, has a pretty good understanding about what this 58 is. And the fact that it's on FNAFWorld.com basically seals the idea. If you guys are not aware, FNAF World was a spin-off game released in um, early 2016. I came right after FNAF 4 and right before Syslocation. And in it, there was a mini-game titled Five Nights at Freddy's 57, Freddy in Space. Now, the actual plot and adventure aspect of the game is not really necessary to go into now. All you need to know is that it was originally teased as a April Fool's joke um, by Scott. He put it up on his website for April Fool's, and he was like, Wait, look at this. Isn't this funny? People basically just brushed it aside, but it's like, yeah, that would be pr pretty funny. And then we saw it in FNAF World Update 2 and everyone was so shooketh. So, uh, I think you guys can see where I'm going with this. Five Nights at Freddy's 58, the sequel to FNAF 57, Freddy in Space, Freddy in Space, is basically confirmed to be happening. What's interesting, however, is that in FNAF 57, Freddy in Space, Scott actually makes a reference to FNAF 58, calling it FNAF 58, Poopits in Space, obviously referencing Lewis, um, Darko, who constantly called the puppet, the Poopit, back in the good old days of FNAF 2 and a uh, few years after that. The really interesting part, however, is when you brighten up this image. It has text hidden um, underneath the surface saying, possibly the worst idea he's ever had, FNAF fan. It's like he doesn't even care anymore, random person. Stopped caring after Dream Theory, Reddit user, are we a joke to you, FNAF fan, and then five years for this, concerned citizen. Now these are either real comments left by actual people on the 5 Nights at Freddy's subreddit and just that Scott has come across these people randomly, um, hence the names random person and concerned citizen, or these were just made up by Scott to, um, to hype up this game, FNAF 58, which... Um, according to the five years for this quote, I'm guessing is going to be right around the corner. The corner? The corner. <laughs> because, you know, five year anniversary, that was yesterday. And if Scott was to tease something like this, saying five years for this, I have a feeling it's going to be released very, very soon. I think possibly this year. 
I think it'll definitely be out by the end of this year. Or maybe not definitely. I think it's going to come out soon. Um, definitely within the next few months. I should stop saying definitely because I have no clue. This is just speculation. I think it's going to come out within the next few months if I had to take a guess. But then again, there is no release date for this, so it is, you know, just a guess. So, how I understand it is that there's two possibilities here. Either we are getting a FNAF World 2, which would be insane, or we're just getting a small spin-off game titled FNAF 58. Whether it is Poop It's in Space or not, I definitely do think we are going to get that in some sort of form. Whether it's alone or whether it's a minigame in a FNAF World sequel, I honestly don't know, but the thing that makes me think it's just going to be its own um, small adventure game is the fact that Scott um, has not, you know, he, he doesn't really like FNAF World. I think everyone knows that. He's not going to be porting it over to um, iOS, Android, and all the consoles. He said that he's, gonna, he's not going to have an update 3, but he never said that he's not going to have a sequel or a prequel. One of the two. Probably a sequel, though. So, I'm guessing that this is going to be its own game, just with its own minigame. I don't think Scott's going to be making a FNAF World 2, though it would be awesome if he did, because then he could add in Adventure Assist Location characters, Adventure Pizza Sim, Adventure Custom Night, he could add in a few characters from Custom Night, he could add in Adventure Glitch Trap and some characters from Help Wanted, he could even add in some characters from the books if he really wanted to, he could do so much with a FNAF World 2, and honestly, I would love that, and I know um, some people in the community would also love that. So either, and this is just my guess, either he's going to create an entirely new FNAF World, FNAF World 2, or this is just going to be its own independent game. I think the second option is going to be the one that it turns out to be, though again, ha! <laughs> I would really, really love a second FNAF World. Just saying, Scott. Just saying. I just realized people are probably going to be asking, no, it doesn't show anything if you brighten up the image on scottgames.com, but there is something in the source code. It says, stay the course. I will. Focus on my voice. I will. Don't let anyone lead you astray. I won't. Have you selected one? I have. So there's obviously someone with higher power talking down to someone or not specifically talking down but just talking to them in general like you know stay on course i will don't let anyone distract you i won't listen to my voice i will so there's definitely someone of higher power talking down to someone who has less power i should say not directly talking down to them but someone with upper power talking to someone with you know lower power and um I'm not entirely sure who these who these people could be. Some people are saying that this is Afton and Henry having a conversation, or this is Afton and he's controlling some robot, which I think is probably the case, seeing as it says, have you selected one I have? And this kind of goes in um, with my point on maybe, just maybe, this could be a game featuring the books where the um, Spring Bonnie, someone in a Spring Bonnie suit, steals Sammy. Like, you know... For those of you who haven't read the books, in the books, um, Charlotte, which is Henry's daughter, um, has a brother named Sammy, and they were playing in a closet together with, like, toy trucks and all that stuff. They were in a closet um, in a Freddy's location, and then Spring Bonnie comes through the door. He's like, you know, he looks back. The book immediately, or not immediately, the book specifically says he was looking at both of them, choosing which one to pick. You know, have you selected one? I have. He's looking at them, seeing which one to select. He has selected his, you know, he's made his choice, he takes Sammy. Then again, that's really all the information I have to go off of, giving my guess that this is a game based off of the books, and you can see how I'm stumbling with my words that, again, there's not much evidence for this, so this could just be Afton talking to some robot, um, telling them, have you selected a child? Maybe this could be him talking to Baby when she's alone with a kid, when um, Baby's alone with Elizabeth. Then again, that doesn't make any sense for have you selected one. I, I don't know. It's difficult to explain because we don't have a lot of information on it. I'm just going to end the video off here with a quick, um, I guess, not really news flash, seeing as this isn't confirmed um, by Steelwall or Scott. This is just speculation. This is what people have found in the deep 
depots of the help wanted files. I'm not sure how they got to this, but I saw it on Reddit and I thought it was worth mentioning. Apparently, someone found a Five Nights at Freddy's VR help wanted Halloween pack. It's a unused DLC and it has no size. It doesn't even have an operating system. But the fact that it's called a Halloween pack makes me think that if this were real and if this truly was something that Click Team, not Click, Click Team, sorry, 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 sorry. If this is something that Steel is working on, I'm guessing this is going to be released or October 31st. That would be my guess, or around then. Then again, I don't know if this is if this is real. It has not been confirmed, nor has it been denied, however, so there's always that possibility, you know? Hey y'all, editing Johnny Blocks here. I just wanted to pop in quickly because I was meaning to say something during this section of the video talking about the Halloween pack, but I was editing the video and I realized that I didn't. So I'm just gonna pop in and I'm gonna talk about it right now. What's interesting is that the only true Halloween update that we've gotten for FNAF was in FNAF 4 when Scott changed all the models from like uh, Nightmare Bonnie and Nightmare Chica to Jacko Bonnie and Jacko Chica. He replaced Nightmare with Nightmare Yawn. Uh, Nightmare Foxy was Nightmare Mangle, you know, Plus Trap was uh, Nightmare Bloom Boy, all that stuff. Um, but what's weird is that we already have a FNAF 4 uh, section of Help Wanted that is dedicated to FNAF 4. You know, we have the Circus Baby level, Funtime Freddy, Nightmare On, and Nightmare Fredbear. We already have a FNAF 4 level, you know, collection that is FNAF 4. So adding another FNAF 4 section to Help Wanted would seem like a little bit too much of FNAF 4, which makes me really question what they're going to do with this Halloween pack if this really is true. Obviously, they're going to have in Jacko Chica, Jacko Bonnie. Uh, they'll probably not have Nightmare on because their already is level for him. They are probably going to add in Nightmare Mangle. Uh, they already have Nightmare Blue Moor, so they probably won't do anything with him. So they're definitely going to have at least Nightmare Mangle, Jacko Chica, and Jacko Bonnie. And I'm probably forgetting someone, but I can't remember if there is anyone else off the top of my head at the moment. So what they're going to do with those levels and where those levels are going to take place, I'm not fully sure. Maybe an entirely new location, maybe it is just going to be the FNAF 4 house, or maybe it's going to be like uh, when you change your date to October 31st, um, in FNAF 1, 2, or 3, they change the office to make it more Halloween-y. Maybe they'll do that and just have you in an office. I'm not really, really sure. So I guess all we're going to have to do is wait. And like I just said, past me, <laughs> good job thinking ahead. I do think if this is real, it's going to come out October 31st or around that time. So until we get more information about it, that's just my guess. But anyways, I got to go back to editing and here is a regularly scheduled Johnny Blocks video. Anyways, this has been a super long video, I'm guessing, just because there was so much stuff to talk about. And because of that, I got to get all my opinions out on everything. There's just a lot of stuff. Honestly, we are basically set for FNAF things for the next, like, two or three years, which is just unbelievable to think about. There's so many people out there saying that FNAF is dead, saying that community sucks, which honestly, it doesn't. Uh, from my point of view, Scott and the community have been nothing but caring and just amazing to me, and I've seen them talking to other members of the community, and they're just so nice, and honestly, it's just the best. The FNAF community is awesome. And you guys are so nice, not just to me, but to Scott, to other FNAF content creators, and to just each other in general. And, you know, people are like, uh, Scott doesn't care, you know, he does, obviously. Like I said many, many times in this video, he's not released a game, or anything for that matter, that he was not happy with. And I just remembered it now, sorry, I'm saying this at the, at the end of the video when people have probably left already that the negative comments in the background of the 58 FNAF World teaser could um, be referencing the um, FNAF World itself because not many people liked it at launch, but who knows? Again, that is just speculation. All we can do is wait for more news, but yeah, we're basically set. So this has been a long video. I'm super, super sorry, but it was worth it because we have so many awesome projects to look forward to. So thank everyone so much for watching. Again, stay hyped. Mark your calendars to all those dates. There were so many. And I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.